In this video, we're going to take an initial look at HTML forms. And forms are something we use a lot when we're on websites. They are used to collect information. And so you might have filled out a contact information form on a website. And when you submit that, it's handled by a web server. So we're not going to handle that part of it. That's for a future video. But in these next few videos, we're going to talk about the actual input fields. That's what we're going to create with HTML. Now, it all starts with the form element tag. You can see that right here. We have the opening tag. We have the closing tag. Now, by itself, the form element tag doesn't do anything. It just declares in HTML that this is a form that we're going to submit. And you can see here, though, we have a blank web page. Nothing in there because, again, the form element tag by itself doesn't do anything. We have to put our input elements inside the form element. That's why I put this comment right here. Input elements go in here. So the first thing we're going to do in this video is create one of the most common input elements and that is the one line text box and you've seen that many many times when you filled out information on a website so I'll just copy and paste the first line here and so here we go we actually have a text box right here and that is used by the input element tag so I've created that notice we don't need a closing tag because it's just an element that goes inside the parent form element so that's the way it works now the key to this is to understand this attribute right here type equals text. This text denotes that this will be a one line text box. That's what's going to be rendered when we refresh this page in a few minutes. Now I don't want you to worry about these three attributes. The action attribute, the method attribute, and the name attribute. We will talk about this in a future series in a JavaScript and in a PHP series because these have to do with the server side of this and that's not what we're going to talk about in this HTML series. We are only interested in creating a text box in this series with HTML. We are not interested in server side code at this point. So don't worry about those attributes right now. So let's go ahead and refresh our page now. And there you can see we've got our one line text box. Isn't that cool? Uh, and we can create another one. Let's go ahead and create a second one here. You can create as many as you want. And we'll hit save here. We'll refresh. And there you see we've got two. Now if you don't want these side by side, we can just put in a break tag, which we've seen before. And we'll hit refresh and there you can see now they're in a top-down order and you'll notice that when we click on the actual control this is called a control by the way the actual one-line text box though very few people call it a control they usually just call it a one-line text box but when we click on the control it is highlighted in the browser now let's say you want to change the length of this box on your page let's say it's, it's not wide enough to contain all the information that you want the user to enter well, it will automatically scroll to allow more letters, but what if you want this to be wider so people don't have to use a scroll bar? We can accomplish that by the size attribute. So let's go ahead and put that in right here, and we'll say size equals, and we'll say 100 characters. And we'll leave this bottom text box alone. So let's go ahead and refresh this, and let's see what we get. And you can see how much wider this is now. In fact, let's lower that to a more reasonable amount. Um, how about 50 characters? And there you can see it's now much wider if you need a lot more information to gather here. So we're going to go ahead and just get rid of this. We'll keep the default, but I just wanted you to be aware of this attribute. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we're actually going to create some labels for these one-line text box. So we'll do that in the next video. See you guys then.